Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am creating a back to school essentials video. Since I am starting my first day at sixth form next week and I know a lot of you have gone back to school already. This is what I'm going to bring to sixth form and some of the extra stuff is what helped me through year 11 and secondary school. Before I start I would like to say that I have redesigned my website and it has lots of new blog posts going up. I'm not going to say daily because it's not daily but there are quite a lot of blog posts going up. So far I've written all about my thoughts on going back to school and different ways that helped me and I'm just going to be writing what I like. So if you would like to be interested in that it would be the first line in the description and I really recommend going over because I've worked so hard on it. Okay so with today's video I'm going to go through my back to school bag. This is my bag, it's from Primark and it's £12. I quite like Primark bags, I, they've always been reliable for me so and they're really cheap and easy to use. So this is my bag, it's just a normal standard handbag. It has a wide in front, it has pockets this side and that side. In the big pocket I like to have my notebooks. I recommend having a notebook per class because it's so much easier, for example this could be history, this could be English, but I think it's so much easier to write all your notes and they're all in one place so when you go back to revise they're all there. And I do recommend taking notes because everybody will need them and so many of my friends did ask to copy some up. What I also recommend is a folder. Now I prefer big folders purely because I can fit all of my subjects in. I know a lot of people have one folder per class but I think if I have a massive folder and I do what I do which is have spare paper, have like these colour, what are these called? Folder dividers and these pockets for each class, I can get on fine. What I like to do in the folder on this side is have my timetable and any other information I need. I colour coordinate my lessons with my notes as well because I am a little bit sad like that. And I like to have spare paper in here. Talking about spare paper, I do recommend having spare paper a lot because so many people ask for it and you never know how much paper you need for a topic or a subject. I like to use just the normal A4 ones, you can buy these in the pound shop, you can buy these in WH Smith, it depends on what kind of paper you want, it's at the end of the day, it's paper. In the bag as well I'm going to be putting my books in there but because I am starting next week I don't have any on me but I am doing fine art, film studies and, and photography so I'll just be using a camera and hopefully art supplies so I won't be needing as many books. I recommend having a planner because it can help you organise your life and give you a sense of happiness seeing that you only have one week till you are on your next break. Mini notebooks are also handy to write down important information such as numbers and usernames. It might sound silly but I made so many group chats in school and they really helped me pass my exams. I also recommend having a calculator because my teachers were angry or upset if you didn't have one every lesson. In the big pocket as well I like to have my phone charger and my charger case because I do use my phone a lot. I've, when I was in year 11 I had a few apps that I did revision on as well as just listening to music so it's handy to have a charger and you can lend them to your friends if you want to. In the big pocket as well I will be having a pencil case. This is from Skinny Dip, it's just planet with silver glitter and I love it a lot. And inside I will have, I had a Calabi Rose to help me studying and take notes as well as pen for peer marking. I have normal pencils for maths and underlining and sketching pencils for my creative subjects. I recommend the black biro because when you do your final exams you can only use black ink. Highlighters were my best friend in school since they helped me read textbooks and pick out important dates and information. You should also have a sharpener, rubber and memory sticks. Memory sticks were so useful because it helped me transfer work from home to school and vice versa. What I like to have in there as well is a water bottle because I can drink for England and I get very thirsty when I get very anxious so it's just good to have a big size water bottle on me. And also in the big pocket I will probably have lunch and snacks because I don't know how long my days are and I don't have any to show you at the moment because it is because I'm not starting school yet and I haven't got anything in my bag at the moment. In the big pockets, I also recommend having emergency bags. This one will be a makeup bag and this one is a lady's emergency and inside there is going to be lots of things. 
all the makeup you see here is on my blog post which is linked somewhere around the video but all the products are natural and light coverage and waterproof which is the way to if you'd like to see what is in my school makeup bag in more detail go on to my blog I am the friend who has everything in an emergency so I have all things from hairbrushes to perfume to wipes to time of the month stuff out of the two bags I have just showed you, I would recommend you bring this one because if you are limited to space because they are very useful and things you might need. What I do recommend having but I don't have the, are travel size dry shampoos and deodorants. You can always lend them to your friends and they're just handy to have just in case. In the smaller pockets I will be having headphones and my keys and money because they're what I need. I will also probably have my ID on me and chewing gum because I like to chew gum in class teachers might hate it but I prefer to it calms me down thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if it was useful please give it a thumbs up and comment below if you have already started school how are you finding it and if you're about to what are you worried about and maybe we could help each other like I said at the beginning of the video I have restarted my blog and I would really love it if you could go down and look at it it would be in the description below but apart from that have a brilliant week and I will see you soon bye